Hey guys, welcome back to Ganchi Plans. Today I am doing some setup for the next two months worth of weeklies. Um, I should have checked uh, when this is coming out. This is coming out in early April sometime, mid-April. Um, I bet I don't have a baby yet by the time this video is coming out. Um, you will have found out about that, I'm sure, in the community tab when it happens. So I am getting ready for maternity leave. So I have printed out stuff uh, to be used for all of my weeklies for the next couple of months. I'm going to set them up in advance. Um, and that's what I'm doing today. Basically just decorating them. And, you know, adding dates. Probably not even like events because that's not too complicated, but I'm just going to be adding like date dots and stickers and well not stickers really, a little washy, a little highlighter, probably not too elaborate, um, but I just like a little bit of a color because I'm definitely not going to be able to like set aside a bunch of time to do that. But if I have a nicely colored weekly set up, then um, hopefully I'll be more likely to use it and um, I will have to feel like it's a chore. So, um, this insert that I'm chopping as we speak is number 66, which is the week on the two pages, which is actually it was just released, I think, this last December. Um, I've been using it now since just March. Did I use it in February? Maybe just March, or like the end of February. Um, yeah, that sounds right. Oh, yeah, I have one page that's um, printed on just one side. Then the rest are printed on both sides. Um, so that I, I like to have like my months split up by weeks. I, I've mentioned, I've used the phrasing like a cover page, but basically that's what I mean is I have all of the weeks ready and printed in, in there for the month. Um, and then I have a, a blank front and back sort of you know be the covers and I don't decorate the back on the front I put like a sticker or like a, a photo from my sprocket so that's what that's for um, I think I have too many pages at least I hope which is fine I just don't want to have too few pages um, then I need so let me just finish chopping this up. I'll uh, be giving you a tour as we go. Next, I have selected um, two different inserts to use for May. Um, I'm using this um, fold out list, which is insert 37, and then the um, hourly, or is it time blocking weekly, uh, which is insert 36. Oh wow, I didn't realize those are sequential. So there you go. Um, so I'll have this for like a to-do list that pops out the side. And then this um, will, I, I think, be useful in the immediate postpartum period to be able to visualize my time, especially since it's 24 hours, or is it? It is. Yeah, it's 24 hours, even in the pocket size. So look at that. Um, so I, I think that that will be useful for me to be able to whether I'm like tracking stuff as like, you know, sleep and feeds and blah, blah, blah. Or if I just need to sort of be able to visualize what a week looks like in 24 hour increments. Uh, so I know how much time I have, you know, before I have to go get my daughter from school or whatever. Um, I think that will be useful to me. By the way, this is a new swing line paper cutter. It's all right. Um, and this is my Repesco hole punch, trusty done. We don't use that forever. Um, so let's get this out of the way. Always lock your blade. The thing is pretty sharp. And this is what we do with, yeah. 
I should probably have my daughter make bookmarks with those actually because she's been super into bookmarks lately. <laughs> All right, let's do some actual calculations. Here's my future log. So April, um, we're starting with the fourth for a week. So we've got one, two, three, four weeks of April. So we're using this guy to find, oh, this, is, this is the back page. And we need a front page. <laughs> Those are all upside down. Oh, there's another back page. Don't need that one. Uh, let's see. Real time. Okay, here's a front page and here's the other one. So I'm going to set one of these aside for some other time. Here's a front page. So we need four weeks. So one, two, three, and four. April, then these are extras, set those aside, we'll definitely use this at some point. Then um, for May, we will again, I guess start on the 2nd, so 1, 2, 3, 4 through the 29th. So that leaves two days in, in May that will go on June's first weekly, so also four. Basically, if a week has four or more days on um, in one month, then that's the month that goes in. So one, two, three, and four. And then these four here. You can sort of wrap around them. Um, at least for storage. So the first like decorative thing is um, actually printing a photo, which I never really show you, but I may as well. This is how this works. This is the HP Sprocket. It was a birthday gift several years back. Um, so it's on. And I'm just gonna show you my phone a little bit. Let me pick a good picture here. I'll do one. A uh, silly picture. I see. I had, I have Agnes on, or I have Bridget on the most recent one. Sorry, I'm not showing you the actual like phone screen too much. I think maybe, maybe that silly little picture with the sorry ring light. That picture with the pastry. Most of the pictures on here are selfies because she got into it lately. Oh, I know. I know what I'll do. I will pick this photo. See that? They were being silly in the closet. They were my closet monsters. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and basically hit share. Then you select sprocket. And there you go. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in just a little. Um, sort of move it around. It's a little bit finicky. Uh, there we go, that'll do. And then you just sort of hit the green print button and then it will connect here. You can view the queue. No. Printing, da da da. It is pretty quiet. And it comes out this side. Oh yeah, she um, banged her head on a chair leg. And so it's like um, thermal thermal paper, so it doesn't use ink, which is nice. Just prints kind of like a you know, receipt wood, so which does make it heat sensitive. If you were to leave it in the car or something, it would um, turn black, I think. But uh, here we go. Just slap that on here. And I guess I will leave um, this one for a picture of the new baby when he comes. Um, in May. By then we will be taking too many photos of an adorable baby. I don't 
don't know, maybe he'll be ugly. I doubt it. So um, let's just jump in. Um, April, I already decorated. I think that, yeah, that video already came out. It's blue. So I'm going to just sort of do some blue highlighter. Um, I've got like these ones. And I already pulled out some stickers, um, date dots and stuff. So I'm just going to fast forward through that and you'll see what's going on. Okay, so that feels decorated enough. Now I have four weeks worth of pre-decorated but not pre-planned um, weeklies. This has been, this is set up roughly the same way it's been set up uh, for me to actually use recently, um, except that I used to have a work schedule in here instead I'm putting um, like what projects I'm going to work on during nap time. And then if I need errands, sorry if you hear that, it's trash day. Um, and so this is just set up and I will be like, um, actually doing the planning probably the weekend before, or like Monday morning or whatever. Um, and then just using these as I see fit. I have a feeling that, um, I might not even need dailies, but obviously I can use dailies whenever I want to. Um, I'm in a set, set up right now where dailies are in a separate section. So that's April all set to go. And next up is may just do the same thing i haven't done my may plan with me yet i don't think i've posted it yet either as you're seeing this um but i'm doing a green theme for may because it was our wedding color um so and our anniversary is in may so that's what i'm going to do um and my reasoning for the blue is because we're having a boy so there you go if you need reasoning for your color schemes probably you, you really really don't <laughs> but I have one so there you go So I think that's all I'm really going to do. Um, the actual events that, like I know for example that um, we have something going on in the evening of the 14th. Um, we've been planning on ahead. I know that we've got something going on the morning of the 21st that's being planned ahead. But um, that's all going to go in the monthly and then I'll just sort of plan it out the week in advance or so. Um, 
and you know fit it into how I'm feeling in my planner that day. If I set things up too far in advance, like too much of it too far in advance, then um, it starts to feel stale before I've even used it, and that's never good. So um, just having like the headers done this way, there's a pop of color. <laughs> And so whether I feel like pulling out a highlighter and using it to color code my day or using a colored pen or something um, to make it, you know, fun and interesting, whether I do that or not, at least there'll be a little bit of color. And like I said, I'm going to put, um, I'm going to print a sprocket photo of the new baby here when he comes. And that's pretty much it. Um, I'll just kind of tuck these all together. I may or may not have room for them in my planner this minute, but there's plenty of time. Um, so I can just kind of tuck these away and um, keep them ready to go. And now I feel pretty good. I'm all set for um, the maternity leave coming up. I guess the only thing I also wanted to show you that I chopped up and put in here, um, here it is, is some like project planning for my maternity leave. This is all in advance, so hopefully I've gotten well into this by the time uh, you're actually even seeing this video, but I sort of made a context list. These inserts are both from Peanuts Planner Co., which I haven't used this one in a while. Um, this one I've been using. Uh, it's called like a categorized list or something like that. It's got, or five columns categorized list, something like that. So the idea is sort of contexts. Um, because I'm going to be trying to get stuff done around the house while also taking care of the baby, like the 18 month old, um, while our older daughter is at school, I have sort of, I can work on certain rooms when she's doing certain things, you know, cause I don't really like doing stuff in the office when she's awake and I'm the only adult because then she comes in here and starts messing with stuff. Um, and I can't work on the nursery if she's napping in the crib. So I have to come up with different scenarios and stuff. So that's what this is for. And I will probably be adding the actual projects to it as well as just like rooms to work on um, so that I can, you know, say, all right, look, she's napping right now. So I can work on this project right now. Then um, these are some of the projects that I want to work on. The biggest thing is organizing the closet in the nursery um, and getting all of the baby clothes ready to go, which is, I think this, this one, baby wardrobe, um, make sure I have everything I need. We're having um, a baby sprinkle. My, my mother and mother-in-law are throwing us a little shower um, at the beginning of April, right before all of these weeks start. And so I'm gonna have to take inventory while I'm already off work. But hopefully I have a few weeks to, um, to get all of that squared away and I don't think it'll take that long. I have to work on Easter because that's coming up. Um, and then I have some other craft projects and stuff. I have a cross stitch project that I finally, she's 18 months old, I finally hung our second daughter's up on the wall and I just started on our son's today. Um, I just make these little cross stitch of their name that goes up on the wall in their nursery. It's a thing now. I can't finish the baby blankets in time, but I can do a, a very basic cross stitch. And then just some other things that I need to, you know, do. I'm gonna add some more stuff on here like content creation and I might, if I have like the energy and or motivation, start working on some more insert plans and ideas and designs. So if there's anything that you have been looking for in my shop that does not exist, do let me know uh, because I can prioritize those designs if I have a minute. Otherwise, uh, that's it. You guys will be seeing more of these pre-filmed videos as, uh, as we go. And I will make sure to post on the community tab when uh, the baby comes so that you don't miss it. And uh, yeah, just stay tuned. Um, there will be a new video next Thursday. So I'll see you then. Bye.